I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to Let's Play Bullet Heaven 2. Um, I found you can set the border in game after all for the widescreen version on the Steam version. Uh, there's a bunch of different little backgrounds here, including a couple of Firana backgrounds. That's pretty cool. My favorites are still the Bullet Heaven 2 and EBF 4 ones. Um, Parker. Oh, you can also set the background music and the uh, background stuff. All right, spoilers um, for uh, the main menu. I like when games let you, they have a sound test that affects the main menu so you can actually listen to it instead of just, you know, only on one menu. Anyway, Parker. So let's get started on a snowball fight. The cats are back. This, yes they are, aren't they, Parker? Cats are certainly back on my desk, sniffing my mouse pad, and generally being in the way. Poor kitties, poor no legs. Oh, and um, I noticed Firana has the same, um, well, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. She's got the same sort of, um, Parker, um, like hold and release. Um, special attack that uh, Lance has, so maybe it's just as effective against bosses like his. I do prefer her normal fire, it's a little more rapid and uh, more predictable than Lance's. Wait, did I move it? Oh, it moves relative to you. Oh, and there's a max distance. Okay, I see. Hmm. I, I think it is a little different from Lance's then. Should make sense. The screaming. Why must they scream? Oh well. Oh, and Verana's default outfit increases weapon charge speed a little bit. Um, the other effects were increased bomb damage, not really of interest to me. Um, increased pickup radius, which I think is more useful if you're using cheats or, excuse me, upgrades. Um, because then there's like pickups that affect combat, like, you can pick up hearts, and shields, and I forget what else. I haven't actually played with any of the handicaps on. There are the cheats. The handicaps are the things that reduces your ability, not the opposite. Ah, Parker. Ah! Oh, and did I show you the menu- the metal menu yet? There's a whole- um, like pretty much every Epic Battle Fantasy game since 3, I believe, there's a whole bunch of different medals you can get. Um, a lot are tied to, you know, standard stuff. There's the score ones, there's the don't get hit on certain levels, there's uh, some time trial -y ones, I think. I don't remember exactly everything, but there's some more fun ones like um, beating a level with a passive fist. Um, uh, passive fist handicap on. So you gotta. That just tests your dodging skills really, and there's some for grazing, which uh, I've never been super good at grazing. I uh, I should practice that more. I guess this game will give me good enough incentive to do that. Depending on game, grazing can um, greatly affect your score. I do believe it greatly affects your score in this game too. Like um, Matt posted a picture on Twitter. I guess he reclaimed his score on the first level in the Steam version by uh, mostly by grazing. It was um, not the majority of his score, but like. It was the highest, um, it was the single most impactful category, other than the multipliers, of course. But for any max score, you've basically required to have all 19, or not 19, 13 diamonds. There's 10 waves and then 3 optional bonus waves, and you really have to perfect all of them if you want a really proper high score. The slime fortresses seem to take a lot more damage than the uh, cat fortresses. Ugh, damn it. Pardon me. Jerk ass. Oh, and there's actually, there's a... Oh, Parker, what are you doing? What have you done? What did you do? <laughs> what the fuck? You just... What in God's name did you do? Oh god, is it even still recording? 
Hold on. He turned on the magnifier again. I don't... God damn it. I don't know how to turn this off. I need to disable that shortcut. Um, so all I'm seeing is about like a 100 pixel wide area of the screen right now. Um, I have absolutely no idea how to fix this. Hold on. Okay. It's Windows plus Escape, by the way. That is how you exit the stupid magnifier that I need to find some way to disable. No legs doesn't seem to care much. Yeah, it's not cool. Meow. Well, that was exciting. If you record videos, you're gonna have all sorts of incredibly weird things that go wrong, and you just have to deal with that. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Sure, out of here is not exactly dressed to the cold, but whatever. It's a video game. No one actually. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm lowering my standards to hard mode, but I'm not going to accept taking a hit like that five seconds into starting a level. That's. Oh, I keep forgetting to use. I actually. Um, I was. This is not a good um thing to use for that one. Wait, is this the annoying one? I think this is the not annoying one. Yeah, it's not as annoying as the... The one that's sort of constant fire just kind of grates on me. Are coins actually worth score, even? They are, okay. I was wondering, because they do have other benefits, but uh, it would make sense that they affect score, too. I guess this is a pretty versatile power-up, because it, it's useful for normal enemies or for just dumping damage into a boss. But the uh, that one hold and release attack, really only want to do that with the bosses. Oh no, they're like icy tap-taps. I don't want to hurt the ice tap-taps. There really should be icy tap taps. I. This is slightly personal bias, maybe, but uh, I really do think Nintendo is sort of wasting some potential of a lot of the uh, Yoshi's Island enemies, and uh, especially tap taps. They're just really solid enemies, and ah, there goes our perfect. Um, in some ways, you got to keep way on top of, and. Uh, that's just one of those things you kind of got to memorize. We had some hitching there, almost like the Flash version. The, the, the Flash version gets hitches way more often. I've seen maybe one hitch per level, or per, honestly less than that, but I mean, if I get them, it's only like one in a, in a single level. In the uh, Steam version. Oh, right! The Steam version is 12 bucks, which is, in my opinion, a uh, very nice price for... What you get here? How, how like how long have I been playing? I've been playing for. It must be like around an hour at least total, and um, we are. What level is this? We are like half way through the game, and that's not considering the survival levels. That's not considering the extra bosses, or you know score attacks, anything like that. So, uh, oop. In terms of absolute length, um, this has got to be a lot longer than pr most um, bullet hell shoot 'em ups usually are, because they're usually not very long games. They just have lots of different modes, and, um, you know, the real. You know, they're more focused on replayability than uh, length. And these games are very replayable, too. Uh, but they've got a lot more upfront, you know. You know, they've got what more people would consider, you know, game length. Like, a lot of people don't understand how to properly appreciate shoot 'em ups and stuff, but, uh. Even if you do the wrong thing and, you know, just judge it by time to get to the ending credits, still a good length of stuff here. It's definitely a huge upgrade over... Did I did I show you Bullet Heaven 1? Like, I I went back and played it again, 
And uh, it's a lot rougher than I thought, frankly, um, than I remembered. It's been years, actual years. Um, it's kind of scary to think of. You know, I've been, I think it's over five years now I've been making videos on YouTube. It's, whew. I think the uh, Congregate version has a score pop-up too, but it's much more noticeable on Steam. I just noticed that their uh, eyes are under, under their hair. That's kind of a nice... I like... I kind of like that more subtle look. Like, a lot of times in anime-style stuff, you'll see the eyes just render directly over... Like, Matt's here. Um, eyes just render directly over. I kind of like this more medium approach. It's kind of funny, the Neptunia games, um, some of them actually have an option, just as a silly, for fun option, um, that lets you um, render the eyebrow, just choose whether you render the eyebrows over the uh, hair or not. Um, I prefer it not like that, like not rendered over. It looks a little weird, especially in 3D. Um, it can look alright, it depends on your shaders and what art style you're going for. Um, but with Neptunia's style, Neptunia has more of a detailed, I don't want to say high quality, but like just, you know, more detailed, not cartoony, and uh, it doesn't, it, the, uh, it just doesn't work as well um, with the silly eyebrow thing. Not to say that, you know, detailed is always better, like I really love the uh, art style in, um, Guru Min. I should do a video for Guru Min. It's so weird that they gave up like a billion of their sales by um, offering free games to people who would vote for the green light, and you you can't do that anymore. Like Steam will ban your ass. Well, they won't ban your ass, but they uh, there was someone they who's green lighting. They like basically put their green lighting on hold because they couldn't tell, you know, which of their voters they had offered. Um, they couldn't tell what um, what was genuine interest and what was just people voting for paid copies or free copies, and they gave out like a ridiculous like thousands of free copies. Um, I forget what game it was. This wasn't Guru Man. I'm sure Guru Man probably gave out thousands of copies too. Um, but yeah, don't do that. I mean, Steam will kind of destroy you if you do that now. So I don't think I need to say it at a moral level, but definitely don't do that. It's just, it's just dumber all around to, you know, you're basically paying people to approve your stuff. Ugh. And, uh, monoliths are a little noisy, you know? At least when there's more than one of them. It's tolerable enough when there's only one, but... I'm not sure if I've mentioned this video yet, but uh, playing these games um, looks really frantic, and I mean, in a way it is, but in a way it's also very peaceful. You get in this in the zone, and I mean, I'm less in the zone when I'm, you know, doing all this talking crap, but um, it can be very peaceful, especially when you sort of, um, you know, you have the skill level, you're sort of not worrying too much about your score, so you're not doing, you know, instant resets. And you're just enjoying the game, and it can be very low stress, very relaxing experience. And um, you just get in this zen state, and you just, you know, time slows down in your head, and uh, you can feel where the bullets are gonna go. You can feel where you need to be. It's just, it's hard to express, and um, it's really what makes. Damn it. Um, it's really what makes a lot of these games possible, and it makes it very enjoyable, and I've actually played Bullet Hell games too relaxed before. It's something, you you kind of need to be in practice for the game, but um, it's a feeling I very rarely get from other games, like um, like there's some of the other games that are relaxing for sure, like uh, I like Proteus, just, you know, some games like that can just be really good to relax with, but the, it's more than just relaxing, like, it puts you in a different state of mind when you're, uh, really into the dodging and stuff. You know, they're really dodging games, they're not shooting games. The shooting is almost ancillary. 
At least in ones like this. Though honestly, the difficulty is pretty much always, even in stuff like Gradius, you know, it's more about whether you can dodge than whether you can shoot. First person shooters, those are about shooting more. Especially with the super low time to kill. Cause then it's just two shirts first. That's that's fun. Speaking of insulting first person shooters, I should really try that um, the alpha for Unreal Tournament 2000. Are they still calling it 2015 or is it 2016 or is it? I don't know what it is anymore. I've been hearing UT 2015, but it's. I don't think it's going to be done this year. I mean, this year is basically over. I don't. I don't think it's done. I haven't been following it that closely. But anyway, I really loved Bullet Hell or not. What am I? Um, the original UT. Uh, I played the hell out of it. I didn't even have good enough. What are you? What are you? No. No big monoliths. No. You die. I don't even remember what I was talking about anymore. I gotta kill these. Fuck. Um, fuck. See, so that's what you can't do. You can't freak out because uh, then you lose your concentration and you just gotta familiarize yourself with stuff really before you can get that zen state. But uh, when you're in it, it is good. There we go. Bye bye. Ugh. I'm a little bit disappointed with the range of this thing, but I guess that's sort of its its limitation. I might honestly be better off with the uh, the one that I hate, the annoying boopy notes one, but. Uh, Oh well. I haven't tried this one much, so I thought I would try it to see it see its effectiveness. Ah. The problem is I don't like getting too close to stuff unless I need to be. But I often don't need to be that close. Bosses you're usually reasonably close to just because they're giant. But uh Oh. Oh good. So we've got like three levels of monoliths at this point then? That's interesting. Did those, those, or maybe those are elementals. The one flaw of those cool explodey death animations, I was not looking at the enemy at all. Um, when that happened, I was looking at the bullets. Generally, in these games, um, a big mistake is to focus too far away from your character, but it's also a big mistake to focus directly on your character. Um, you pretty much never want to do that. Um, you want to focus sort of, you want to keep your character in your fo within your phobia, but damn it. But um, see these ones. I shouldn't have panicked over these ones earlier. They're really not too bad. Um, you just got to be calm. And uh, honestly, every th these are the sort of things that sort of they limit your movement, but they're not a real risk alone. They just you know they add challenge to the other enemies. So once they're alone, they're pretty simple. At least on this difficulty, this is hard. So. Uh, I'm sure we won't find a larger ice golem, now that they said that. Aw, a bee. Whatever. A slight phobia of being buried alive. My dad was killed in a minecrafting accident. Aw. <laughs> All that was was a shovel and some blocks of wood. Poor Lance. Rest in peace, Lance's dad. Oh wait, this is a boss level, so... I'm gonna try out that other thing. I'm not sure how accurate it is, because I, I... I've said this before, I'm not a good judge of how OP characters are, generally, unless it's like a huge difference. But, um... I've heard someone say Fiorano is pretty OP, and uh... I can't... Since that's such a common thing for people to say, like, I'm never really sure if somebody means that jokingly just because they prefer that character, or it's like, for realsies. That seems to do some decent damage. Yeah, 
that's pretty good. That's basically what Lance's um, big thing does. Ugh. It kind of bugs me, honestly. The uh, hard mode patterns are definitely easy. Um, I, I can just feel that they're toned down. I talked about this before, but it, it kind of bugs me with the bosses, honestly. But whatever. You get the picture. Um, this is wasn't going to be a high score run anyway. I don't need to worry about it. I'm just... I already talked about this last video, but uh, I was going to try to... My best videos are made out of passion, not, you know, tons of practice and worrying about stuff. So I'm going to try to focus more... Well, I'm going to try to not focus. I'm going to try to just be like, hey, this looks like a cool game. I'm going to play it. See if it's a cool game. And if it's a cool game, that's cool. And if it's not... Whatever, I can just stop playing it if it's really terrible, or, uh... Otherwise it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna say she, Firana's pretty good with this weapon against bosses. Because, I mean, I guess you can watch the health bar, but I noticed um, it goes down a lot. I love this health bar being at the bottom. Mushihime-sama has the health bar at the bottom and the tops. And uh, it's really useful because a lot of times, you know, the top, the health bar, damn it, at the top is just convention. Um, but in a game like this, you often can't really choose where you put your eyes and you'll very often end up at the bottom, especially in a vertical shooter where the boss is almost always at the top. And there's almost no reason for the player character to be at the top. So it's very often suicidal. Oh, I love patterns like this. You sort of dance around. Ah! Should probably keep on my slow, though. That was stupid of me. Bye bye! <laughs> I love those explosions. <laughs> now that I can appreciate them. You didn't die in a minecrafting accident. Bug time! The musical girl, oh. What What thingy was that? Also, I'm not sure if the score ranks. I assume the, how do we check leaderboards? Is, it, is this for hard mode or for? <laughs> There's Kupu Games. Um, ah, there I am, I'm 17. Let's see if Ah. Similar to me. Okay, so this, the leaderboards are absolute, but your rank is based on your um, difficulty. Which makes sense. Because, I mean, you're never going to outscore a perfect play in Heavenly when you're playing in Normal. But yeah, n next time we will explore the forest thingy. So stay tuned for that.